Step seven links to steps five and six as guidance, performance and assessments should be interlinked with feedback. Feedback isn't just about confirming correct or incorrect answers. It's about identifying gaps in comprehension and how to address them. Giving a quiz, for example, without providing the necessary feedback essentially cuts off that activity from the learning experience. After all, we don't teach to assess, we teach to help learners develop skills and knowledge and approaches. Therefore, correct or incorrect feedback is not giving the opportunity for the learner to develop. Feedback can highlight the areas of strength, but don't shy away from highlighting areas that need to be developed. However, it's important to be explicit as to how improvements can be made and even more important to give an opportunity to the learners to implement your feedback and improve. 